Hey everyone, welcome to Did You See That? And I'm Mike, and if you're brand new to this channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe button down below, as I'd love to see you here again next time. But if you're coming back to the channel and you're already subscribed, well, thank you so much, and I really appreciate you tuning into yet another video, because today is my first official kind of TV series review besides Riverdale, but this time we're taking a deep dive into the horror genre because Slasher Season 4 has just released on Shudder. All eight episodes are streaming on there right now and this video is not sponsored. I do appreciate the Shudder platform, but I also appreciate the move that Slasher Flesh and Blood has finally been released after it was originally on Netflix, but anyway, the platform picked this up, renewed it for another season, and it's once again created by Aaron Martin. So by the way, before we get into anything today, I do want to make you all aware that this is going to be a spoiler-free review. So this is not going to contain any spoilers whatsoever about the latest season. However, I will be producing a spoiler-free video, so I will leave a link to that down below. The premise of Slasher Season 4, Flesh and Blood, is around David Cronenberg's character, who plays Spencer Galloway. Now, Spencer Galloway's character in this is dying of cancer, and as he's dying of cancer, they all have this kind of big family reunion once a year where they take part in competitions for wealth. Because he's dying, and because he's got this kind of last final will, he's making all of his family compete in a big competition to find who will be the last to survive and win this wealth. But then in the meantime, there's a killer going around this secluded island, also killing off the contestants. So what can I honestly say about Slasher season four? I've got to admit, I think this has got to be the goriest season of them all yet. I generally believe they kind of amped up this budget, which you can clearly tell that Shudder has definitely invested money into this property because on the Shudder platform, they do have a couple of TV series like say, for example, like Creepshow, but they don't have anything where it's kind of just what kind of made horror a big iconic genre with just a slasher or just a serial killer going around murdering victims they don't really have that a lot nowadays so slasher is definitely a breath of fresh air and i really appreciate that in this season again that budget is definitely paid off in a lot of elements with the casting whether it's the effects this location whatever it is that they've threw into this season it works a charm for most parts there's certainly elements in here where the practical effects is awesome. There were several times where me and my partner, Emma, sat and watched this and we were just kind of gasping, being like, whoa, like, oh, that's cool. You know, those kind of moments really stood out quite a few times in this season. It wasn't just kind of just one moment and then that was it. No, it plays throughout and it definitely chews up the scenery of this secluded island because for the most part it is definitely shot in this one house we also get a lot of scenes outside in the forest that is attached to this island it just plays off that really really well the serial killer in this series is called the gentleman and the gentleman definitely for me i felt posed a menacing threat definitely when they pop up in this season, whether it is coming from behind a tree or in the house, etc., there's this kind of creepy, eerie feeling that, firstly, you know, something bad is definitely gonna happen, but also the fact that just the presence that they bring to this overall story, you kind of rooting sometimes for the killer, being like, yeah, get rid of this family member if you can, but then at times you're thinking, oh no, like this character, I've spent this time investing in and one of the characters that you really, really like and you're just like, well, I really hope that they don't kill off or get away from the killer, you know? So it definitely plays with a lot of emotions and for that part, I dug it. I really enjoyed this season and I think for me, it's probably my favourite season yet of Slasher. However, my partner did say that her favourite season was season three, which is understandable. Both of them have different arcs and different stories which I love about this season because they explore this anthology genre really well and probably unlike kind of matching up to that standard that Slasher has set from around 2017 I believe when this first debuted. I don't think it's kind of been an anthology series yet that's matched this if I'm wrong however please leave a comment below and tell me because I'd love to check out more of these kind of style series and one other thing that me and my partner agreed with is that the character Breeden Lalama who plays O'Keefe they were fantastic in this series and by far both our favourite characters because another great thing about this season and what it explores is probably one of the most diverse ranges 
in a horror ever, whether it's in a movie or whether it's in a TV series. We've got the LBGTQ community represented here. We've also got black people, white people. We've also got about gay people, homophobia. All that is touched on in a great way throughout this season and gives meanings to each of those genres while also respecting them. So I can honestly say that this season is truly awesome. There is maybe one or two slight moments or story arcs that maybe don't fully pay off towards the end of this finale that they're building up to since the beginning of episode one. But besides that, I absolutely recommend Slasher Season 4 and check it out for yourself. It is on Shudder right now. All eight episodes are streaming, so you can even binge it if you want, but you're going to have to spare about eight hours to do that. So my overall score for Slasher Season 4 is... So yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this review and please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And until the next time that I see you, I'll be seeing you later.